Hi, everybody. It is September 22nd, 2018. Wow, South Carolina, North Carolina, a mess. And I'm sure you guys heard this, but just in case some of you didn't, let's listen to President Trump, what he said when he came to visit South Carolina a few days ago. The job that you're doing, the coordination. We just left North Carolina. They got hit really, really hard. And they are working. And all of that water is coming your way. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, they assume you look outside and you see this beautiful weather. But over the next couple of days, it's going to get rough in South Carolina. So the federal government is behind you. We have Lindsey Graham here. We have Tim. Where's Tim and Lindsey? Tim Scott. They have uh, really, they're with us all the way. They're with us all the way. And whatever we need from Washington, we are there. Our team, I don't think there's ever been a team like this from everybody, virtually everybody said it. What we're doing on a federal basis, what you're doing on a local basis, and the coordination has been absolutely incredible. So I know you have a rough few days, and then it'll last a long time. Could last a long time. But you're going to have a rebuilding process, and we are behind you from day one, from three days ago, and now it looks nice, but it's really the calm before the storm, because you're going to have a lot of water. We see it. It's coming down. It just comes down. Nobody would believe a thing like this could happen. <laughs> and already you've broken all records, and this is going to add four, five, six feet of water all over the state. So Washington is with you. Trump is... Okay. Have... Do you, I'm trying uh, very hard to remember if a hurricane hit the United States and the flooding continued for a week. And I, I, I can't believe what I'm hearing, and I'm going to get to that in a second, but... This water they're claiming is coming from central North Carolina. And in central North Carolina, I've heard from many subscribers that you guys didn't get much rain. You certainly didn't get the quote unquote three feet of rain that, that hit Wilmington. So, and West. North Carolina, Northwest North Carolina, I heard that you didn't get all that much rain. Tell me if I'm wrong. Has it rained this week? Have you gotten torrential downpours that is now causing flooding in South Carolina that is devastating devastating towns in South Carolina. This is Conway. And this happened within the last, I think, two days. So Hurricane Florence, well, <laughs> it, now they're saying it's reforming. Yes, it's in the Atlantic. There were some strands of Hurricane Florence left, and it is reforming into, well, they're now claiming it's a tropical storm. Uh, they can't name it Florence again, so they're going to name it Kirk. That is heading for the Carolinas. No joke. But this is massive flooding from rivers that have overflowed in South Carolina. Oh, say goodbye to all of the farms. Once again, massive flooding of farms. Cotton, soy, oh, and something else, and I can't remember. But um, the numbers of homes and businesses that have been flooded from the rivers overflowing. I I don't know the exact number. Maybe it's in one of the articles that I'm going to be working off of, but I will tell you 
something is very, something, I don't know what is going on here. Where is all of this water coming from? Uh, this is, where is this? I hate when they don't, it's the PD region of the state. So here, massive flooding. South Carolina. This area was not touched by the hurricane when it hit. But now, there are areas that are underwater. Could you please tell me if you remember a hurricane that has done this? That has literally just flooded out town after town a week after the hurricane left the area because I don't recall I don't recall this happening I will link below to these videos uh, but what <laughs> alright what are they saying about Georgetown Georgetown Governor McMaster visits Georgetown today. Prepare for the worst flooding of your lives. This was posted 25 minutes ago. Prepare for the worst flooding of your lives. Have you gotten torrential downpours in North Carolina that is sending all of this water to destroy Georgetown? Now, Georgetown County is approximately 60,000 people. They're evacuating. Um, here, we had no idea. Oh, he was coming, the um, governor, McMaster. Here, Georgetown, South Carolina braces for historic flooding. We're at the end of the line. The Yadkin PD River Basin is regarded as the cradle of civilization in the Carolinas. In the coming days, historic flooding associated with Hurricane Florence could wipe out broad swaths of civilization in and around Georgetown, South Carolina. It could prove devastating for one of the Palmetto State's oldest communities, which is already experiencing economic decline. Well, then just bring it down further. Flooding is the result of rain that fell in central North Carolina. I need to hear from you guys in central and west, particularly in the north, the west, North Carolina, and the north of the west. North Carolina. Um, did you get the kinds of rain that would create this kind of devastation? Flooding has already caused massive devastation in Dillon County and other parts of the PD region, but the danger zone is now shifting toward the southeast. Here. The uh, rivers are expected to continue to rise and crest over the next several days. This is not going to be ending right away. Um, here, you better pray. More flooding in Carolinas a week after Florence. A week after Florence. Residents of Georgetown County, South Carolina, where five rivers flow into the ocean, were preparing on Friday for a deluge of water. A county of 60,000 people on the Atlantic coast between Myrtle Beach and Charleston. Uh, are they evacuating all 60,000? Because what, what you are hearing from the officials, um, well, they're talking about bridges closing, got to evacuate now, save your animals, uh, but three dozen flood gauges in North and South Carolina showed flooding. 
Bladen County, North Carolina, around 100 people and 33 animals were rescued in a dangerous operation in the middle of the night. Black Hawk helicopters were used to pluck many of them to safety. You know, with this operation going on in North Carolina, now in South Carolina, uh, Americans, with every disaster that occurs from here on in, they're going to be so happy to see military come to save them. And this is nothing. But what This is a massive military operation, especially in North Carolina. We've never seen anything like it. And there's a lot in North Carolina who are saying that they've never seen anything like it. Yes, there are a lot of military bases in North Carolina, but they've never seen this kind of response. Um, 4,700 people across North Carolina have been rescued by boat or helicopter. Twice as many as in Hurricane Matthew. 10,000 remain in shelters. This was posted today. Coastal city of Wilmington, North Carolina remained mostly cut off by flood waters on Friday. 650 roads remained closed. The State Department of Transportation said warning uh, said warning motorists not to travel in 17 southeastern counties. 17 southeastern counties worst hit by Florence. 54,000 homes and businesses were without power still uh, on Friday uh, afternoon. Some locations won't see rivers crest until this weekend and flooding won't subside until next week. Floodwaters continue to rise. Concerns grew about environmental and health dangers. Duke Energy said on Friday that breaches in a cooling lake dam forced it to shut down its natural gas uh, in their Sutton plant in North Carolina. So that's another plant. There, uh, the nuclear power plant I'm not sure what's going on with that, but this is another plant. The utility said it would not rule out the possibility that coal ash will be dumped into Cape Fear River. Coal ash contaminates water and harms fish and wildlife. Uh, 21 hog lagoons, which store manure from pig farms, had overflowed in North Carolina, possibly contaminating standing water. And several sewer systems in the region also have released untreated or partially treated sewage and storm water into waterways over the last week. How's your water doing, you guys in North Carolina? Um, Minnesota National Guard. We've got a lot of uh, different um, state National Guards. Please understand this. I did the video on Kafka Winston World years ago when I was still in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. So it was 2011, 2012. The Army has usurped the National Guard. The governors are no longer in control of the National Guard. Um, so that is really important. When you think about the Tenth Amendment, we don't have a constitution anymore, okay? So the Waccamaw, Waccamaw River overflowed its banks on Friday. Conway, South Carolina, well, Conway is devastated. And there are people who have been evacuated twice in a week um, in Bladen County. Officials in North and South Carolina warn that the flooding danger is far from over, with South Carolina also ordering more evacuations as rivers rise. Thursday night to evacuate when the Cape Fear... Um, I'm sorry, uh, these residents of North Carolina evacuated when the Cape Fear River came rushing onto their property. They had no time. They just ran. There is so much... There are so many homes 
that are just gone from all of this fun. Not, I don't mean literally gone. I just mean destroyed. Do you know how many Americans just this past year have faced the consequences of these weather events, weather warfare? It's got to be in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, so these people who had to rush out of their home, they went to the town's fire department uh, where they were taken out of town by an army truck. When I read things like that, there's a part of me that just goes, mm, okay. Uh, well, now they're staying in a shelter at the Bladen County High School. It's the second time they were evacuated. Minnesota National Guard evacuated with a Chinook helicopter. We were loading up men, women, children, elderly pets, law enforcement personnel, rescue personnel. Describe the situation as chaotic. We understand that a lot of them are losing their houses. Uh, Governor Roy Cooper of North Carolina warned flooding would continue into next week meaning that lives are still at risk, meaning that more people are going to lose their homes. South Carolina, uh, Governor McMaster said Friday, although the winds are gone and the rain is not falling, the water is still there and the worst is still to come. The winds were hardly ever there. So, more people devastated. This is an ad for Google. Hey Google, play Maui's music game. Sure, here's Maui's music game. Hello mortal, yes it's me, Maui. Put your ear up to that conch shell and take a listen. Uh, sorry, well, now... So much devastation there from Hurricane Florence. Eyewitness News reporter Liz Nagy has been in the Carolinas all week talking to the survivors. That includes one family that lost decades worth of memories. Just this afternoon, Vicki Kenzio was finally able to get back inside her 98-year-old mother's home to see what's not really left anymore. <sighs> You can go home again. This is so crazy over here. But after Hurricane Florence swept through Spring Lake, Vicki Cancio's family home doesn't look the same. Inside, it's ruined. Everything else just has to go out. Unless somebody sees something of value that's, you know, that is not ruined. Her father built this place from scratch 50 years ago. This is our childhood home. We all grew up here. It took him two years. That's how long it took two hurricanes to destroy it. <laughs> the carpets are sopping wet. I'm sorry. Um, I... We just can't get through to our fellow Americans that this is deliberate. I, and it's really hard to see the devastation and, and hear the devastation from those who have been destroyed. This is North Carolina. Last night there was a significant rescue operation in Bladen County, in the town of Kelly. About a hundred people had to be evacuated by boat and air after the town flooded when the Cape Fear River breached a levee there. The North Carolina National Guard and the U.S. Coast Guard flying with night vision goggles heroically saved lives. We are eternally grateful to our first responders who continue to show unflinching courage in the face of danger. They've executed about 5,000 rescues that we know of, more than twice the number that occurred in Hurricane Matthew. You know, I have to say, they've done something to create all of this 
You know, Hurricane Florence obviously didn't give them the kind of devastation that they wanted. And it really is unfortunate that, you know, Americans could come across a video hearing people like me saying what they're saying, and they just immediately think that we're crazy for saying such things. But there are so many people who are saying it, and yeah, there is a part of me that just so wants to uh, have that, you know, uh, awakening of Americans, and we go after these people who are doing this. But, you know, we can't even get them to do any research to find out about weather modification and geoengineering and how they can, well, they can, they have the technology to destroy these hurricanes, so why are they letting them destroy? Why, why did they let them hit land? They won't do the research to find out that we've got the technology to stop these hurricanes, but we also have the technology to create these hurricanes. So we're, we're, we are at war, guys. This is no joke. We are at war. And those of you in South Carolina and North Carolina, I will link below, though this is the South Carolina flood map, all of these floods, all of these uh, rivers, it's all coming from North Carolina. Uh, and here's one river. I have subscribers in this area of North Carolina. And I have not heard from any of you that you had torrential downpours that could have caused this kind of flooding. So this is the, um, where's the Myrtle Beach, Charleston, all right, Georgetown is in between the two beaches and here's Georgetown. So when you hear a public official say it's going to happen and the South Carolina Department of Transportation has been saying bridges will be closed. They don't know when but they will eventually have to close the bridges. And in one of these articles you know I read that evacuate now and save your animals. And I don't know, it might have been the mayor or maybe Governor McMaster who said, unchain your animals from your backyards so they don't die. And South Carolina, boy, wow. <laughs> they chain up dogs and leave those chains on them for life. They're chained up outside for life. Many alone, these are packed animals. You know, the suffering of animals, not just in South Carolina, but what people do to animals, it just is so reprehensible. And South Carolina has the worst animal cruelty laws. I think they just finally passed a, a uh, oh, what, I can't remember what they call it, but it's like a leash law. Dogs that are tied up, apparently now they can't tie them up forever. I'll have to look into that to see if it actually was signed into law, but I heard that it was passed that now you can only tie your dog up for a certain amount of time that it's 2018 and people are doing this is really frightening that we have these people. 
who are just clearly they do not care about the suffering that they cause but okay what is this we have now yeah it's I, I all right Florence redevelops and strikes the United States again are you friggin kidding me okay this hurricane Oh, it came from the coast of Africa all the way. It hit North Carolina and stalled out. And then it went down, went south and hit South Carolina. Oh, that's right, but Myrtle Beach was absolutely fine. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, but then it went up north and went through South Carolina and North Carolina. And then it went through... Uh, parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, on up uh, through Virginia, uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and then headed on out. And I, I also heard that Maine got some rain. Okay, so it traveled inland through all of those states, then departed the United States, went back out into the Atlantic and shreds of Florence, is now redeveloping. Are you kidding me? Remnant moisture from the hurricane remains over the central Atlantic and could redevelop next week. Ha! Huh. Yeah, and guess where it's going? North Carolina. Are you kidding me? After Hurricane Florence inundated the Carolinas, it slowly turned north and east, eventually exiting the United States late Tuesday after giving New England a bout of heavy rain and some towns, certainly Quincy, Massachusetts. Wow, a whole lot of rain. You got that flash flooding that destroyed your cars, homes. Uh, but as of Friday evening, hmm, there's a small swirl of clouds near Bermuda. Oh, Bermuda. Okay. Uh, well, I just, um, there's something up with this. Uh, this is Kirk. Storm, Tropical Storm Kirk. Off the African coast. Okay. Well, they're saying that Florence, that swirl of, that swirl of clouds is redeveloping, reforming into a hurricane. And they can't call it Florence, they're going to call it Kirk, which is over here. What is this? Okay, what is this? Oh, I Maybe it'll work now? No. Okay. I can't get it to move down. Um, but, oh, come on. National Hurricane Center. Are you kidding me? I can't even, this is how you're doing it, huh? You can't get your website working? Oof. Let's see. A little bit smaller? Uh-uh. It still won't, and I can't bring it down. All right. Well, let's check out this. Can't bring it down. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, formation in five days. A non-tropical low-pressure system is located about a thousand miles west, southwest of the Az Azores. Azores. Conditions are expected to become conducted for this low to acquire subtropical or tropical characteristics during the next day or so. Um, all right. And gotta go to IntelliCast. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, yeah. Look at IntelliCast. All the geoengineering right smack in your face. These are not clouds. No. These are uh, the <laughs> solar radiation management laying of chemtrails. 
No, Mother Nature does not work in straight lined cloud formation. She swirls, makes circular patterns, not straight lined clouds. But can't seem to get that through to anybody. Oh, I guess, what is this? So let's just see if we have some identification from IntelliPass. No, we don't. Great. All right. Oh, we have this low down here. Oh, we have this. Kirk. Yeah. Coming off the coast of Africa. And what what is this? 11. Tropical depression. Okay. So, where are the other two uh, tropical depressions, or what, what the hell are they? Right here, I can't get the information. Um, this is, this is it? Well, the swirls were out in the Atlantic, so I don't know where the swirls are now, okay? Maybe it's this. It's going to redevelop into a hurricane. Or maybe this straight-lined cloud uh, material. Do you get what I'm saying here? We have never lived anything like this before. We've never had a military response. Well, Katrina. Harvey had military, but did you have a response? like you're seeing in North Carolina with the Air Force, with the Army, with the Marines, <clears throat> with all of these National Guards all over the place, when it was really only Wilmington that got hit bad. But now it seems, uh, uh, you know, so many areas of North Carolina, South Carolina are being devastated by flooding. Don't, I, I, what, what the hell do you even call this thing? So, this is not Kirk, right? But it's all manufactured. Nothing is on radar, by the way. Um, this is not how Mother Nature works. And she certainly doesn't work by layering the atmosphere with all of these lined patterns. All right, guys, you know what? This is such a surreal time that we are living. It is beyond belief. It is so beyond belief. I'll link below to everything, but they're not, they're not done. They're not done destroying more of them. They're not done. Tropical Storm Kirk forms in Eastern Atlantic. And by the way, you, if you do a search on Hurricane Florence reforming, you will see mainstream media is on it. And what are they saying? Another hurricane to hit North Carolina. Well, I will tell you, that will really uh, inject fear into an awful lot of people in North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, but AccuWeather doesn't seem to think that it's going to be a threat at all. While Kirk could strengthen slightly over the weekend, it is unlikely to, be to develop into a hurricane. Will not be a threat to land during the next few days. Um, whoa, but wait. Mainstream media is claiming Kirk is somewhere over here. <laughs> well, you know what? Liars, really. When you listen to liars, it's, it's, it's fascinating to see how they get so much confused. So I think that's what we're saying, seeing. Guys, I really hope to God 
that whatever they are saying about Georgetown, worst flooding of your life, that it doesn't turn out that that way. All links will be up. I honestly don't know what to say anymore. But for Americans to listen to the news and they now hearing that a swirl of cloud in the Atlantic is developing more moisture and it's reforming into another hurricane that they have to call Kirk because they can't call another hurricane Florence um, and where do you see Kirk? Over here. So Florence made its way from Africa, North Carolina, South Carolina, right on through inland. Inland. Didn't even break up. Nope. Nothing stops hurricanes now. Made its way out into the east. Oh, and it came all the way back down. And it's now reforming into Kirk. Or is this Kirk that I can't see on the on this page? Any of you, I'm going to post the link to the National Hurricane Center, and if you can find out the name of this this red and this orange X, that would be helpful. Thank you. I hope everybody remains safe.